Yeah. yeah. So I didn't dry this with a heat gun. I just kind of let it sit up so it's still really soft. Um, this allows me to move it around without it um, cracking. So for darting, um, I'll slide this around once I do it. But first thing, I just make a cut straight in and straight down. Um, I guess that's maybe like, yeah, all the way through. So if everyone can see that kind of line that I just made, okay. Now I like to use an X-Acto knife as opposed to a fettling knife, um, especially for stuff like this because I can get a really uh, sharp, straight cut. You have to be careful though because, you know, it's a razor. You get a sharp. <laughs> yeah, you get a sharp, straight cut in your hand. Um, a lot of times, this one I haven't, but a lot of times what I'll usually do is break the tip off that really pointy part because then I find I cut myself less. Um, so now is when I cut that willow sheep, willow sheep, willow shaped piece. And when I cut this out, I want to put this back together. So I found that if I cut both sides at the same angle, that when they go back together, they make a nicer connection. So, that, so instead of cutting it straight like this, I'm going to cut them like this. So when I push them together, they meet. I would think you would do the opposite. And then you usually can just pop it out. So that's what that looks like. And can you see how both? Yeah, not very big, but you can see how both sides are beveled. So this is the shape that I pulled out. Generally, are you saying that should be leather dry or Uh, this is still really soft. This isn't. I wouldn't call this leather hard. At all. And that's the stage you would normally do it. Yep, because okay. what I'm going to do next, you want it needs to be soft in order to okay. stretch. So then I use this uh, Mud Tools Hacks. I guess that's how you say it. It's, it's like a serrated rib, but it's really fine. Um, I find this works better on these as opposed to those the big, big ones. Mostly because I can get it in there. <laughs> and so I just pull up, you know, on both sides. And it scores it. And normally, I forgot, I have a little paintbrush, but I, I use a paintbrush and just paint on some water. Um, I find that that way I get it where I want it, very localized, and I'm not getting all kinds of water everywhere. It gets really sloppy. So now I push this together, and this is where that softness part comes in, you know, the, the right stage in order to do everything. So I just kind of slowly work this in. And I want, I want that transition to be nice and soft, and so I'm not just pushing it in uh, dramatically. Otherwise, that stretches the clay in a way that it will remember, and I won't have, it'll, it'll make weird folds in the side. If you don't believe me, try it. Just doing it one time. <laughs> yeah. So now, you know, it ends up kind of looking like this. Okay? And you can see on the inside too. All right. And you see those bevels have now folded over. And uh, now I'll just uh, work these two seams together. First on the inside, and you can see how, oops, like on the outside right now, this one is slightly over, right? So I'm gonna pull that clay with this wooden tool. I'll support from the inside so, enough, so I have something to push against, but I'll just pull this clay across like this which makes a nice smooth transition, almost completely hiding that cut line. So you won't even be able to see it later. A lot of times, if, that's why I wear the straight cut. If I was to push that straight cut together, instead of beveling it, um, a lot of times you won't be able to get that compression and that line will show back up later after you bisque or you'll even get a crack there. I have never had uh, a cup crack on this line doing this like I'm doing it right now. So I'll go back inside and the same thing is I'll pull that extra clay over. Uh, 
Hurry it up. Hurry it up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. okay, so that's it. That's it. I'll take my red rib and I'll go back. I'll smooth that over just to clean it up. Same thing on the inside. Very cool.